Yes, well, scammers are increasingly seeking now to exploit the latest technology, Bitcoin, for their financial benefit. Bitcoin transactions actually have the ability to make money laundering easier for criminals because cryptocurrencies are conducted, transferred, and stored online. That allows cyber criminals to move their funds instantly across borders. WAT 6 News side consumer reporter Don Dare says an East Tennessee woman has been asked to transfer nearly 40 thousand dollars, Don? That's right, Bo. That amount of money was mailed to her in cash, and she followed the directions explicitly. She believed the man sending her the money was honest because he was her new boyfriend. He befriended her through Facebook. She'd been a widow for six years and told us that she fell head over heels for him. This is a very unique twist to the typical romance scam. Is the envelopes that the money was sent in? It was sent in envelopes. Rita says her boyfriend has been busy the last five months sending her cash in priority mail envelopes. This one says 2,300. Now that was the first one that he sent me. She showed us a note left inside one of the envelopes. For Stefan Hans, commercial invoice, diplomat Mark Smith Heinrich. Rita was sent this picture of Stefan Hans, her new boyfriend. It was likely stolen from someone's Facebook page. No, I've got about uh, $6,000. Uh, the scammer has been sending about, money to her for months. She's been given directions to take the cash to a Bitcoin Depot machine like this one in Sevierville. I put the money in the Bit machine and then I put that code up there that's got his his, I guess it's his address. It sends it to him, and then I get a receipt, and I send the receipt to Stefan Hans. How much money have you been sending to him? I have sent them $6,500 six times. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it is, ain't you? Does it seem suspicious to you at all? Well, I didn't know. Rita says because she's fallen in love with him, she's followed his directions. It's just because he was supposed to be my boyfriend and he's supposed to be coming to me and we're supposed to be getting married. I trusted him and believed him. I love you so much, sweetheart. Hans sends Rita text messages several times a day. He's on an oil rig and he has a contract and he can't leave until his contract is finished. That's the tale he tells her, a typical romance scam red flag. But what's different about this scheme? The scammer is not asking her for money. Instead, he's sending it and having her launder it. It's scary. I was scared to death today. I was so scared, afraid that I was doing something wrong. That it was illegal. That it was illegal. Uh -huh. My nephew told me this morning, sister, you are uh, laundering money. People often are unwitting participants in these fraud schemes and um, and that's what the fraudsters are looking for someone to conduct these uh, illegal financial transactions for them yes u.s postal inspector wendy ball says it's unlikely well, no, rita no, would be charged with any not, infraction right? for the postal inspector's office the scheme involving bitcoin is new to east tennessee you know we want the public to know they can conduct their own financial transactions nobody should need you to do that for them Rita has stopped communicating with Stefan Hans. She has a new cell phone number, and she's contacted authorities. And that's the thing to do. Investigators say online cryptocurrency transactions have no borders, and it eliminates the need to physically move illegal money from place to place. Plus, there is a degree of anonymity associated with Bitcoin transactions. While not 100% anonymous, the public Bitcoin addresses used for transactions are not registered in the names of individuals. The bottom line is if you are asked to make one of these transactions and you feel uncomfortable about it, stop communicating with the person making the request and get in touch with authorities as Rita did. Well, got to go with that gut feeling sometimes. Thank you, Don. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.